All right, this is just a review of what we did in class on Friday. If you're starting off, new blank document in Word. Just like to make it big there. Your name is in the top left, double space down. My name is your teacher's name. Class you're in, LA10. And then finally, today's date. Or if you did it on Friday, that's fine. You can just keep that date. Double down. At this point, I usually like to right click, go to paragraph, line spacing, maybe double. Okay. Center it up there. For now, you can just write title, placeholder. So we'll come back to that later. So now when you click, it should automatically be a double space. Take it back to the left hand justification. Hit the tab key to indent, should be in. And this is where you begin. All right. So remember, we talked you got to begin with the hook. You can ask a question. Do you remember growing up? Do you remember the lessons you learned? So you start with a question. Uh, do you remember growing up? Do you remember the lessons you learned? Uh, what were your most significant lessons while you were growing up? So that's one way to do it, right? You can do it that way. You can also do if you want to paint a scenario. Remember the word imagine is good. Imagine you are growing up in the South in the 1930s, you are six years old and you really do not know too much about the world. How would you go about figuring everything out? Okay, so total there, that's a pretty long hook, um, but you can combine them. You can do questions, you can do painting the scene, you can do the quote, which I'll skip for now. Um, but then remember, you want to come to the middle of the pyramid, and you want to talk about some general information in the story. Um, in, don't forget to italicize the title of the novel, Mockingbird, one word, in To Kill a Mockingbird, a young girl named Scout Finch learns about the world. Together with her brother, Jem, and their friend, Still, they experience experience all sorts of um, tragedies and lessons. Uh, they learn a lot about the ways of people, especially from Atticus Finch, who is Scout's dad. Dad. So there you see you come to the middle of the pyramid, you have the general information. Now here's the most important sentence in the essay is your thesis statement, your main topic sentence, and remember you want to include the tagline in there, which T stands for title, A stands for author, and G stands for genre. In the novel, it's your genre, title, to kill a mockingbird. Now you want your author by her name, remember, is Harper Lee. And then remember, you always want your thesis to answer your question. So remember the, the point of the essay, what lessons does Scout learn? So you want to make sure you answer that question in your thesis. So in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Scout learns, learns many lessons. And you want to be specific. It really sets up the rest of your paper, such as... Uh, how to treat people with respect, what, whenever you get an underlined red word, make sure you go back, right click on it and choose the right word, what real courage looks like, uh, sc Scout learns how some people are racist, 
and never trust a mob. Okay, so those are four scenes I can talk about. So she learns many lessons such as how to treat people with respect. In my head, I'm already thinking about maybe Walter Cunningham when he comes over for lunch and he puts syrup all over his stuff. What real courage looks like in my head, I'm thinking about Mrs. Dubose, right, when Scout and Jem had to read to her and she overcame her drug addiction. How some people are racist. Of course, I'm thinking about the Tom, Tom Robinson trial. Never trust a mob. I'm thinking about when the mob came to the jail to kill Tom Robinson. So she learns many lessons. You don't, don't have to choose those four, but they'll set up the rest of your paper. So once you have your intro, you come down in your first body paragraph. You always want a transitional phrase. In the first one, I always go with to begin, comma. Um, and then you just basically take the first part of your thesis um, and just copy that. Scout learns uh, how to treat people with respect. Okay? And then you talk about that. Where in the story does she learn this? She learns this, and I'll say both at school and when she invites little Walter Cunningham over for lunch. Now, remember in every body paragraph you need at least one sentence directly from the novel. So in my case, in this one, I'm going to take Atticus's advice to Scout. Um, in this story, Atticus says to Scout, you never really understand a person until you walk in their shoes. And that might not be directly correct. I'm just going from memory here. Then remember to explain. This means that everybody sees the world in a different way, but that you must respect their hmm, interpretation of events. Say that way. Many people struggle. ST struggle with many different things and you never really know what they're dealing with. Now remember I also asked in your body paragraphs you want to relate it to your own life how it could be a useful lesson to you. In my own life this advice could be useful when whatever, uh, my friends are having a bad day or when we disagree about something. It's good to remember that people bring their own opinions and thoughts to every issue. Okay, so that's your first body paragraph come down to your second one. You can just do a transitional word next, and then again, you're just taking the second part um, of your thesis. In this case, it is what real courage looks like. Next, Scout learns what real courage looks like. Okay, And that will become your second body paragraph. Your third, in my case, I'd be writing about how some people are racist, and then fourth, to never trust a mob. All right, so uh, that's what the body paragraphs look like, and we will uh, work on the conclusion when we come to that. All right.